Right. Can you hear me? And can you see me? And am I freezing? Or are we all okay now? Let's hope we're all okay now. Uh, morning to everybody all over again. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I um, hope you're all okay this morning. Uh, I, I am a little bit less. I love technology when it works. I love it. I wouldn't be here without it. But yes, when things go wrong, they just seem to go wrong all at the same time, one thing after another. Um, oh, good. Jolly good, Angela. <laughs> Nolene says, woohoo. I know. What's that? 25 minutes to sort that one out. Um, sound and vision, says Jackie. Yes. Yes. Chris says, I'm still here at the moment. Thank you for putting up with it. Hello, Biz. <laughs> Um, everyone at Short House is frustrated, Sarah, with technology. But it's fine. We get there in the end, don't we? Um, lovely. Now then, I was I'm going to do a little bit of sewing with some cork. So I've got all my spare bits and bobs that I was testing out. Um, but I do have new fabrics. I told you the other day we've got loads. Um, so we're spreading them out a bit so we're not bombarding you with fabrics. I'm just going to plug my iron in. And of course, the extension cable's right down there. Uh, morning, Sylvia. Morning, Lorraine. Tina says, worth the wait. Oh, I hope so. Uh, just switch that off for a minute. Hi, Diana. Sue in Ar Arimba in Australia. Welcome along. Uh, oh, oh, Diana's put me on the big TV. Oh, don't go too close on those wrinkles. Um, right, let me show you. Let me show you some fabrics because we've got some beautiful ones for you today. Um, this, when, I, when we saw them at the suppliers the other day, I said to Kim, it's like a wedding cake. These um, jelly rolls or fabric strips, I should say, um, our suppliers can't keep them in stock. Um, so many people, so many retailers are, are buying them up. It's basically the whole collection of white on white, cream on creams, and there's 40 strips here in total. I think it's £35. Um, so we've tried to keep the price really low as well. But remember, 40 strips, double the size that you normally find with jelly rolls and things like that. So there's an awful lot. I don't want to take it all out because I'll never get them back in again. But they're all, if you're not aware of what white on white is, I can show you. It's basically a white print on a white background. And if I can angle that so you can see them. So they're all different designs. There's white and there's off-white. You can see that one a bit more clearly there, can't you? Um, but the whole selection of blenders. Um, I think that's really good, sally Ann, for, um, for 40 pieces as well. But we're quite lucky to get hold of them because they... Um, our supplier was telling us about them and he said you're going to have to get these when we get them back in stock again but we keep selling out so we just we just can't keep up with demand for them love to know what you're doing with them um so we we bought oh and then we saw them in the way so they've just come in they've literally just come in today so we snatched them all up basically so we did have a look around actually and um so, you know, because we like to make sure that we've got competitive prices and we can't find any, but we know it is. But they're, they're just really delicate and very pretty and really very, very useful. Um, Fee's got a white and cream quilt that I got for your 50th. It's a beautiful look. I think it's really elegant and I think it's so much more interesting than just plain white or plain cream. But if you're going to be using these with... Um, prints and patterned fabric and coloured fabric. It doesn't argue with them. It just adds a little bit of interest, I think. Um, oh, hi, Zach. <laughs> I'm good, darling. How are you? <laughs> oh, Laura's fiddling with the volume. Oh, I hope it's all right now. Um, hello, Pat in Christchurch. So, yeah, and don't forget to use the ribbon as well. Don't throw those away. But I think it's uh, they're just really beautiful fabrics and they're really lovely quality as well. But we have kind of got the last of the stock. So when they sell out, and I'm saying when rather than if, if you um, go on the waiting list, we should be able to get them back in again. But I don't know when because we seem to, have, um, seem to have just bought the whole warehouse full of them. But they're beautiful. So that's those. Uh, Kaz is in the caravan 
with a view of the blue sky. Oh, how lovely. I've got a view of chickens chasing ducks off my garden this morning. Um, Bluebell is not happy. Cause it's right about this time of year we get a pair of ducks coming. And, um, <laughs> oh, Connie, don't look close. They're there. Um, yeah, so Bluebell's decided she doesn't want ducks in the garden, so she's chasing them off. Um, they are great for sashing. Yes, um, Sharon, they're, they're just really, really beautiful fabrics. Um, hello, Mama Budgie in far north Queensland. What's it, what's it like over there? You're in winter over there. Um, it's showing live stream. It's showing live stream. Sorry, I didn't see that. 13th of the 4th. Yeah, I've, it's because I had to reset everything. It just seems to have reset itself back to the last live stream that I did for some reason. But anyway, glad you like them, Elsie. Um, these are all patterns. I made that one, or finished that one this morning. The, the William Morris is the one that I started making on Create and Craft the other day. And I thought, I'd, I'm, I'm going to finish it. Um, we will, oh, I think we've got that fabric back in stock again as well. We do have the tapestries back in stock. So if you've been waiting, should have had an email for those this morning. Um, a big piece how big a piece a jelly roll would make never used one before oh i don't know if you get your calculator out there are 40 pieces they're two and a half inches wide and they are 44 inches long that'll be including the selvage so i haven't i haven't got my maths head on today i'm afraid to work that one out um i will at some point that's a good idea uh right let me show you some new stuff um I mean, I, I, I did, I've made a mistake with this one, cutting it, because this is actually a panel and I cut half a metre to show you, so I've actually cut into the panel. Um, but when you, when you get yours, it will be the full panel. It won't be this one. Um, and that's, that's a bit bright there, actually, isn't it, when we're looking at white. Let's see what we like over here. So this is Sandy Toes, it's Clothworks. Clothworks is a really beautiful fabric range. The quality is exceptional. And I just think, look at him. I just think it's a little bit of fun. So again, you, you will have a complete one. Um, if you're watching Create and Craft tomorrow morning, love that. Um, they are launching some bundles of this with patterns. But if you wanted to go for the meterage, um they've got we, we've only got three in the range but i do have some bits and bobs that, that match very nicely as well if you wanted to make quilts and things like that um but yeah we've got um we've got a really good deal on these and um i just think they're beautiful so that's that's the panel again you will have your full size one this one is my favorite the seashells they're just really unusual colors aren't they that gorgeous, gorgeous, and then we have a stripe as well, and they're pretty. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm just oh, I, I, I'm, I just want to start making things for summer. I want it to be warm. I'm so sick of the the rain and the wind. Oh, the wind. Um, and, and these kind of fabrics just make me think, oh, I'm going to sit in the garden, I'm going to make a beach bag even though I'm not going to the beach, or I'm going to make some summer clothes. And it's just, they're just kind of uplifting and, and happy kind of things, aren't they? Now, I've got a couple of colours that are going to mix really well with these. If you want to go for homespun turquoise, <coughs> gosh, do excuse me, haven't got very much left. We will be getting some more in, so go on the waiting list. But the homespun turquoise goes perfectly and we have a really good match with the <coughs> excuse me turquoise spot poplin so if you wanted to add a little bit of texture to that as well that goes really well or you could go for something a little bit different um, this one is make and believe Oh, what did I call that one? Can't remember the name of the colour. Light Hope. Make and Believe Light Hope. That is a perfect match as well. Um, and in fact, I mean, you don't have to go for the whole collection. Those two work really well together if you just wanted to make something simple out of those. 
Um, Chris, I think the seaside fabric is going to be out at the end of May. Um, that's what I've been told. If it gets in any sooner, then I shall certainly let you know. Because um, yes, I'm in. I'm in the mood for this seaside. What about you. Uh, morning, Jan. Oh, nice, Linda. Linda's going to her sister's in Wigan for a week. That would be lovely. Um, Oh, Shirley's got a broody chicken. Mine are kind of off and on at the moment. I've got a, I've got a little silky that wants to be broody, but then I think she misses the other three. <laughs> the one sitting there on her own. Oh, it does look like cocoa, actually. Exactly right. Uh, would you cut the panel up into squares to make little bags? That, I think, would be lovely. And you've got the border around the top and around the bottom. Let me show you again. So you could do that or you could put that onto maybe the light taupe background so you've got a nice border like that and then you could even fussy cut that out couldn't you and then put that across the top of the bag so yes I think that would be a lovely idea and you'll have two four six squares so you could potentially make six bags out of that one if you um, use your own backing fabric for it. Uh, Pam's out to lunch today, how lovely. Right, so that's that, and that's that. Oh, sorry, I'm trying, trying to keep it neat. Then we've got a couple of collections of Lewis and Irene. And I've got one of those. Da, 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 da and that one right oh i think you're gonna love these look it's all summery and gardening so that one's got little strawberries let me let me have a look at these they're brand new in only came in yesterday and what have we got it's called the kitchen garden oh no no oh that's not that one this is the kitchen garden let me let me do it properly so we've got carrots um, what's it called? Rainbow Carrot Stripe. Then Garden Accessories on Fresh Green. That's a lovely colour green. And then this one is Extravaganza on Yellow. And that's it for that one that's it for that range we've just got the three of those these colors are lovely though aren't they who would have thought that fabric with beetroot on would be really pretty but they really are they're gorgeous we've got um peas and i don't know what that is broccoli but it's, it just makes a really pretty fabric um right so let's do this and these are all seven pounds fifty for half a meter and if you do um order more than one they will come in one piece and these are all 44 inches wide and lewis and irene like cloth works really lovely quality you'll know that as soon as you pick the fabric up as soon as you get it home you think yeah she's right that is really beautiful fabric so if you haven't used lewis and irene before you're looking at really premium um fabric range with the quality there um so have your brand new stripes in the book. Oh, nice. Free fabric. Now this one, this is a teddy bear's picnic, but the strawberries aren't necessarily very teddy bear. But as a collection, I mean, imagine these as a quilt for a child would be, up, or for you, would be absolutely gorgeous. So teddy bear's t picnic, uh, this is the strawberry, a strawberry bee floral on cream and this one the favorite one strawberries on cream oh strawberries on cream <gasps> and then there's teddy bears teddy bears on duck egg blue oh no that's not that one where's my teddy bears on duck egg blue there we go that's that one <laughs> what a lovely range and honeybee on duck egg blue 
There's that one. Then we've got a nice little blender, which is brown basket weave. Aren't they gorgeous? Also, also, we have a bunting panel. Um, this one is really big. I didn't cut into this one. I did realise that was a panel and not just chop half a metre off to show you. Um, but really pretty again. But, you know, any child's bedroom, any summer, no, summer parties, garden parties. I think that would be absolutely perfect. I just love the colours. They're nice and fresh and summery and happy and full of strawberries and flowers and teddy bears with honey it's absolutely beautiful and the nice big pennants as well you know it's not it's not stingy little mean bunting and of course it matches with the fabric as well so you could do a whole decor um and and just finish this off with the um with the teddy bears and what i'm thinking oh let me just move my coffee out of the way what i'm thinking as well if you're going to make bunting out of these you're probably not going to see the back of them so why don't you go for either a mint gingham it doesn't match exactly but it kind of goes because there's so many different ginghams on here that goes really well the pink is perfect perfectly pretty pink um, or you could go for the blue or the yellow so these are um, the eighth of an inch um, cotton ginghams and we've got the four colours and they all go with this really really well so if you want your fabric to go that little bit further then stick one of those on your order as well and if I just move those out of the way if you do want a, um, a blender if you're quilting or you want to make quilt backs this isn't extra wide fabric so you may have to join us if you're making a larger quilt um, but it just makes your Lewis and Irene fabric go that little bit further so if you just look at those with the range they just work really well I think particularly the yellow just goes really well with any of them maybe the pink maybe the blue but they all go so I'll, I'll leave I'll leave that up to you have a look through and see what you think um, actually well to do with that one kind of goes as well that was that light taupe or oh, have we got oh how about the mustard so anyway I shall I shall leave the choice of accessorizing up to you but those are the Lewis and Irene collections so again that's all the new fabrics we've got for you for today We've still got a house full. Honestly, you should see our, our reception area. <laughs> it's just full of stuff. Um, Samantha left shoulder. What would what would go with the bees? I, I think I, any of those I've just shown you, Andrea, I think the yellow of the gingham would go particularly well. Um, we don't have an exact match for the background, so I'd go for one of the bare colours. Oh, you wanted the bees. Same thing, the same colours on those as well. You could even do a black if you really wanted those to stand out. That would work really well as well. Oh, lovely dearie. Dear, she's just renewed her Half Yard Club membership for a further year. Love all the projects, something for everyone. Thank you. Nice to, nice to keep you with us. Uh, the brown basket weave go with the first panel. Yes, it really would. And you've got that same lovely quality of fabrics because, I mean, Clothworks isn't Lewis and Irene, but you've got a really nice quality of fabrics there as well. So, yes, that works really well with those too. Well spotted. Very good at mixing. I love doing this. It, it's, it's something that we do in the um, in the office when we get new fabrics in. And I'll tell you what, what's really nice as well. I did take some pictures, actually, um, of some of your orders. Obviously not with your names on or anything. But sometimes you order fabrics and they get put together and you just say, oh, I wouldn't have done that, but that works really well. For instance, somebody ordered one of the tapestries, um, houndstooth check tapestry, with a lime green ditzy flower and it it just really worked so it's yeah we, we do this a lot don't get any work done so all that goes with that and that goes with that and that goes with that hi marilyn 
is that handbag fabric next to you or oh, this this one can you see that one I didn't think you'd seen that yet I'll show you that in a second I'm going to make a just a little bag um, with cork and fabric on that one as well hello Pat how do you get the Kindle book free like you said um, Julie, if you're a Half Yard Club member, have a look on the on the website blog, and that'll um, that'll lead you to it. Um, got you. Oh, got you too, Bloodwin. <laughs> well, you're not on YouTube anymore. Because we we seem okay. We seem okay there. Um, oh no, haven't finished yet. Uh, this one is part of that teddy bear's picnic range so i have any cut this is by the half meter it's not a panel but it's got a double border on it so if you're making a cot um a cot size quilt you'll need to order a meter of that um or even if you're bag making actually that would make a nice baby bag wouldn't it or table runners tablecloths and that kind of thing it's just really pretty and again you've got the design on both sides of it I think it's yeah, it's the same design with the teddy bears there and then that kind of folds over somebody's laid an egg can you hear that got very excited about that I'll go and check that when it finished <laughs> um, hello Julie good morning to you too uh, Pauline got a Kindle book oh jolly good thank you um, no Yasmin I'm afraid we don't do PayPal the the website isn't set up to do that it's just credit or debit cards for the half yard club uh, to my right on the chair oh no I can't show you that just yet because it's not quite on the website maybe on Wednesday I'll show you that one that's another that's another tapestry um, that only came in this morning so I haven't had a chance to put it on oh have a look at that but it's, you can't have it yet that's going to be it really quickly tapestry again come back on Wednesday unless we can get it on before then um, and miss my Wednesday fix oh it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't very good on Wednesday I didn't miss very much because we had all kinds of technical issues and I ended up just just going home basically going home um, if they're not on the website at the moment Sally Ann they will be later on this afternoon because we do have stock of those so if you go on the waiting list, as soon as they're in stock, then um, you'll get an email to say that they're back in stock again. But for one of the projects, there's a box for date started, but the date finished, what's that? Got my journal yesterday and looked through it. On the projects, there's a box for, a box for date started, fine, but date finished. I'll have a look. I can't remember Linda off the top of my head. Thank you very much, Sharon. Um, so, these are brand new in, and um, in here you've got um, two mechanical pens for dark and light. Um, sorry, two pencils. There's a fabric glue pen, oh, that's, that, that's that one, and an erasing roller in a gift set so it is it is a box so obviously it's open so that you can see what's in here so you can open that and, and let's open it up and show you but these again are brand new in and they do work out or oh, I, shan't, I shan't take it out I'll never get that back in again um, it works out less than if you were to buy all of these individually and you get the the brand new taupe colour that um, Soline are heading towards. So they're going to be changing all of the colours for this colour. So I think they're really classy as well. Uh, but these are obviously consumable. So if you know anybody who sews, that makes a really nice gift because it doesn't really matter if um, you know if you've got two or three of them because they will run out eventually and you'll probably need to order more. Um, but if you are thinking ahead for Christmas presents that would be ideal for anybody who sews doesn't matter whether you're a dressmaker or a quilter or you know, make homewares or a craft sewer um, that's perfect for absolutely everybody um, right love the bag and the pillow over my left shoulder those are the patchwork panels which I don't have one here 
they come with instructions on how to make the cushions. So there's four squares, four um, patchwork squares. Um, no, I haven't got, have I got one here? I'm asking you, but you don't know, do you? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, limbo. Um, yeah, so there's four squares and it comes with instructions for the bag and the cushion. So you can make four cushions, you can make a quilt, you can make a bag, you can make four bags, but whatever you like with them. Um, right, so I'm going to put the iron on now. Iron's not coming on. There we go. If something goes wrong, everything goes wrong all at the same time, doesn't it? Does here. Oh, see you later, Mary. Thank you for thank you for being with us this morning. Um. <laughs> Sorry, Daryl. Lots of lots of tempting things on the website. I like to keep you busy, though. Right. It says scissors, not pens. Oh, does it, Jackie? Oh, Kim, if you're watching. It says scissor set on the website, not pens. Does it? Yes, it does. No, there's no scissors in it. I'll, we'll get that changed. Ignore that. Definitely no scissors in that one. Um, what are the bags over my right shoulder? This one is the curved size tote. We've got patterns on the website for that. Those are the bowling bag. Um, we do have the patterns for that. We haven't got the kits, but we do have patterns for it. And the one here is the tie side tote, and that's the bag that I made. It's a little bit different from the pattern, um, but I made that in a live stream on Create and Craft and this Facebook page. Last was it last Sunday or the Sunday before? I can't remember the date. And um, have a look back over the last couple of weeks. We, we kind of make that from scratch. You'll need the pattern for. Um, the sizes to cut but the pattern doesn't have the two different colors of fabric um so that's that's how i did that hello deco mocha in chile at 6 48 in the morning you're up nice and early uh, a download oh yes it is a download as well so yeah that's um the tapestry is, is a download or you can go for the paper patterns if you don't want to download it uh, Alana never received the bowling bag pattern in your last order. Did you not? I think. Did you email me about that? Because I'm sure I've sent it out. Can't remember. I shall. I shall double check, Alana. But I'm sure. I, I'm sure. Didn't you email me? And I said I'd send it out to you. I'm sure I did. But let me, let me know if I'm if, if I'm just going mad. Um. Right, so I've already got some bits and bobs cut out, but I'm going to make a bag, only a little clutch bag, no handles or anything on it, no zips or it's got a magnetic fastening, but that's it. So we'll make a bag with a flap that looks like that. Because I just saw the two fabric, you know what I'm like for mixing and matching. Um, I think I've sent it out to Lana. I'm sure I did. Sorry, I didn't reply. Um, I thought I'd done that. So, yeah, so we <laughs> go, go around the office with a bit of cork. Think, will it go with that? Will it go with that? Will it go with that? And this one it just looked really classy. And, and this fabric, I'll have a look what it's called in a minute because I can't remember. It looks like Polo Ralph Lauren, doesn't it? With the horses on it i think it re really classy when this one came in um gary said he wanted a pair of trousers making out of it it's not going to happen but um yeah oh the horse horse embroidered if you search horse embroidered or just put horse into the search engine we haven't got any other fabrics with horses on um so that's going to come up there so let me measure this so that you can see what i'm doing so my cork is 11 and a half by eight and the flap is ten by seven so you'll need two pieces of cork to the same size you will need two flap pieces to the same size and then two lining pieces to the same size as the cork and I'm putting some fleece onto the wrong side of the cork now if you've not worked with cork before 
just treat it like fabric. It's just a fabric. It's got a cotton backing. Um, the nice thing with cork is that it's sustainable and it's wipe clean. It's pretty much waterproof. You may find tiny little gaps in between some of the cork pieces. So I'd, I'd say water resistant, but it's certainly wipe clean. Um, you don't need any particular foot. If you do have a non-slip foot, that may help, but have a go on your machine first of all and see what, um, just see what you think, whether it works or not. But a non-slip foot or a walking foot may help. And don't introduce heat to the cork side. It's not going to shrivel it up like you're heating plastic, but if there's excess heat on there, it may start to buckle a little bit. So just avoid putting heat onto the, onto the cork side. But you can iron from the back and you can steam from the back. Be aware that when you're steaming, the steam may come back through again because this, as I say, is, um, is water resistant. So you may find the steam bouncing back because it doesn't travel through the cork. So just, just, be, just be conscious of that. Um, but when you get it home, it, it will be creased. You know, it's going to be folded. But all you need to do is to iron it from the back with steam if you've got it. And it just melts away. And that will then be soft. So don't touch it until it's cooled down because we don't want it to move. So if you're putting fleece onto it, From the wrong side, remember no heat from the front. This is the craft fleece, which is my favourite fleece at the moment for anything bag making. I use it all the time. And scratchy side, scratchier side is the glue side, so that's going to go down. And then I'm just going to kind of pad the iron across it. I seem to have, as I say, not got any water in this one, but. Just hold it down for a few seconds, just to hold it in place. Just starting to stick, you could hear that. And then flip it over. And I'm just going to try and find the scissors. And trim it back, and then I can iron it right up to the edge. Um, so I wouldn't be making anything that needs washing out of this, but again, you can wipe clean. Trim off this side. But for bags, it's absolutely perfect. It's easier to work with than a laminated fabric or a vinyl. And it's nice and soft and tactile as well. And it does create a little bit of interest and gives a really professional finish, I think, when, you're, when you are bag making. I'm just going to put some water in this, actually, I've got water. Uh, would the craft lease be good for cosmetic bags? Yes, dearie, I use it for everything. It's a little bit firmer than H630 and H640, so don't use it on anything that you're going to gather. Um, but if you wanted a nice firm bag, then absolutely for cosmetic bags. It's a little bit more affordable than H630 and H640 as well. Um, right. Get some steam going on now. That'll help. Wear the craft fleece in regard to H is fourteen. It's it's just a little bit it's a little bit firmer, Kaz. Um, it's thinner, but it's firmer. I I wouldn't say that cork is waterproof, Laura. It's, I'd say water resistant or shower proof. Um, if you go dunking it in a bowl of water, then it'll it'll probably get through some of the little gaps somewhere. Um, it's sold as waterproof, but I, I don't, I wouldn't trust it to be waterproof, personally. I haven't tried it. May well be. Cut a little bit off and dunk it and see what happens. Uh, Sally's got two meters. You can use a firm fleece to use to do this. Have lots of it. Yeah, absolutely, Alana. No problem at all for that. Right, that will do. So that's that's now stuck on the back. See, it's a nice little bit of steam helps that to stick. Um, can anyone help? Is Creation Craft available in the states? I don't know, Rachel. I think you can you can watch it on the website, and I'm sure. Rita, do you order from Creation Craft? I'm sure they ship to the states. I'm sure Rita's ordered from Creation Craft before now. Right, so I'll pop that there. 
I've already done the other one. You need to see, see me do that twice. Um, then I'm just going to leave that to cool a little bit. So let's work on the flap. So I'm going to put the two pieces together and just round off the bottom corners. So I'm going to use a corner creator, but if you've got some any kind of round template would be fine. So something circular of about two inches. Uh, like that. And then let's just snip those away. And round there. Um, okay, so that's that. But again, if you've got your um, just a circle template, then that'll be fine. Then let's take our magnetic snap. We'll go for the thin side here. Get that symmetrical. There we go. Figure out where the center is, which is there, and around about an inch from the bottom, I'm just going to make two little snips. I haven't got my lovely sharp little sew line scissors down here with me today, and that goes in there and push that through. Alice says, what type of wadding or fleece would you recommend for a laptop bag for protection against bumps? Um, we do a sewing fleece, which is very nice. That's quite thick and poofy. Um, or a foam, something like a um, bosal would be nice because that's about a quarter of an inch thick and that, that would be a nice protection for it as well. Let's sew these together. just lost my foot pedal <laughs> you can hear it just can't get it there you go so we're going to sew these together just around the edge here using about a quarter of an inch seam allowance will be absolutely fine that's the magnet getting caught on the throw plate Around to go. Run out of thread. Haven't got one of those fancy machines that tells you when you've run out of thread. So go and put the kettle on a minute while I just reload. I'll oh, use that one. Reload this one. Glad I didn't go too far before I realised we'd run out. There we go. Then we'll carry on. This fleece does seem to be picking up all of the bits out of my sewing room. Right. The word Laura says um, invisible snaps would be nice on this or a buckle. That would be really nice. I've <laughs> that's it. So I just had to YouTube disappear for a second. Okay, so that's the top of the flap. So it doesn't actually need pressing, but I am going to top stitch just around the edge so let's pop the seam on the edge and so so I'm just pushing that out keep it nice and straight so it's quite quite a quick bag this one And then take what will be the back of the bag and we're going to pop this with the snap facing upwards in the center and oh just excuse me, top of my head while I 
reach for some clips. Clips are easier than pins when you've got thick fabrics like this and you may find your cork a little bit tricky to put pins through anyway. And we're just going to sew straight across the top of there to hold it in place. So it would be, it would be quite nice actually to put maybe a couple of little D-rings on the side. So I thought you were in a different camera then, you didn't see that. Uh, Connie says, cannot see the comments. What is the name of the backing you just ironed on? Oh, Connie, this is fusible craft fleece. Use it all the time. Right, now to mark where the second part of the magnetic snap's going to be, I'm going to do that. So we'll pull that quite tight, I think. And... Do you know what? I think the bag's a bit too wide. I'm going to I'm going to cut the side down. No, I'm not. Cuz I've sewn it on. Cuz I was going to box it, but then I thought no, I just want to I'm going to trim the sides down just a little bit. Just so that the flap is going to sit snugly. I thought that looked a little bit too wide. I'm just chopping half an inch off. So that first measurement, inch shorter across the width. That's better. Okay, so then fold that over. That's a better looking bag. And just mark where that's going to go there. And we'll double check that that is in the center. So that is now 10 and a half inches. So it needs to be five and a quarter, which is perfect. And again, we'll make a little hole We'll make a little hole for the snap to go in, if I can find something to make a little hole with. So I can never find my quick and pick because I, I very rarely use it, to be honest. Nose growing. Oh, we've got the magic ones back in stock again as well. I'll have to show you those. The seam ones, perfectly pressed seam allowances. Sold out completely last time, but we do have some more in there. Right, so we'll make a little snip Quick and pick would have been easier for this one, but can't find it. Irene, yours is still in my um, Crankcraft bag. So through all layers, let's pop that in there. And that goes there. Squish it open. And then we can start, that is the top, isn't it? Yep. We'll start putting this together. So I think we'll do it this way. So let's sew. Lining is going to need cutting down again as well now because I've made that a bit, a bit narrower. So let's sew the top of the outer to the top of the lining right sides together. Blodwin, it's, it's lovely to sew with cork. Um, it's easy to sew. I'm only using a universal needle. If you're sewing through lots of layers of fabric, you may find a denim needle beneficial, but I'm just using a regular needle, regular thread. Don't need anything, you know, it's, it's not tough. And we'll have the top of that to the top of that. And it's easier to sew, I think, than, um, than laminated fabric because I'm not using even a a non-slip foot on this one and it's absolutely fine. I haven't top stitched on it to be fair but it does give a really nice finish to your work. Then I'll see you biz, I'll see you later. And then we're going to put these two pieces right sides together. I'm not boxing the corner of it. Um, and we'll sew all the way round, matching the seams here. So let's start there. And we must leave a turning gap in the bottom so we can turn it through.
So just make sure, you know I moved the, um, I made the fabric narrower, just make sure you're not sewing over the flap. So you do need en enough room for the seam allowance on the bottom. And I have increased the seam allowance in the lining very slightly, just to allow it to sit inside the bag a little bit better. Turning up. Uh, Claire's new thing is, new favourite thing is buttonholes with nice wooden buttons. Oh, I've got a project coming up with a bag with nice wooden buttons and cork and wool. So I'll show you that later. Not later today, just like later in life. Um, right up to the side, match those seams at the side. Over we go, quite a thick bit there. And down to the bottom. And then straight across. Sorry, I just said, I've got lots of bits and bobs that I was showing you last week. I just need to go over one seam there, just a little bit, went wobbly. And I'm thinking, I should have put a little loop on the side. And I've got those um, faux leather tassels. Uh, all right. Come on through. So it's a little bit stiff because it's cork and it's got a backing on it. Oh, because it top stitches really well. It does. It looks lovely. Um, particularly, I think, if you're using um, a metallic thread, like a gold metallic top stitching on corks. Fabulous. Fairy glam. Hi, Jaws. <laughs> it was on about Mijuki. Lovely machine. Lovely machine. Can't praise it high enough. So I'm not going to sew the opening closed at the moment, so I'll do that in a bit. Let's just push out those corners. And let's get in here. Oh, Linda, get them out your stash cupboard and use them. Get them out and use them. You can't you can't have stuff sitting in a stash. Let's see if my see if my posh pen will work to poke that out. Oh, I've got a knitting needle there. That would have done. So now just treat it like fabric. It's just another fabric. Oh, this is looking nice. Uh, right. So let's pop that inside. I'm going to leave the edge of that poking over because I think it looks nice. So again, so that, that, that would be it. What I, what I would do, let's do it, um, is just top stitch around the edge. So I'm rushing a little bit because I, I forgot I've actually, I've actually got a meeting <laughs> that I'm going to be a little bit late for because of wonderful technology. But if we're going to do it, we're going to finish it. Meeting will have to wait. All right, so I like to start somewhere it's not going to be seen. I can increase the stitch length, so I'm going to go up to a 2.8 and stitch just underneath the seam. So I just keep rolling that out of the way. Try and keep that nice little border the same width all the way around. It won't make any difference to the size of the lining, so don't worry about that. Oh, this is looking nice. Don't those fabrics go so well together, though? And yeah, I suppose they would make nice trousers. So make sure the flap is up. Now, if you cork, I mean, considering we've just turned that through a reasonably small gap, um, the cork isn't creased. Now, obviously, if you have to iron the cork after it's made up, you can't get to the back of it. So either use a pressing cloth 
and don't hover the iron over it for too long um, or no, I don't. steam it from a distance and then smooth it out with your hands so a little bit of a, a waft of steam and then just smooth it and then leave it to cool and that should be fine so there we are done that fastens over there so that in, in different sizes, little bits everywhere, uh, would make a really nice laptop bag, wouldn't it? That's probably big enough for a Kindle, to be honest. Nice little board around the back there as well. And then I have got to sew the hole closed in the lining, but I'll do that later on. But that again is a really nice, useful size. Um, Maria says, I think you should give this bag to Gary and she has lots of camera bits and bobs. His camera bits and bobs never go away though, that's the issue. <laughs> I don't give him time to put his camera bits and bobs away. <laughs> but yes, that's a nice idea. Um, that's all right, Blodwin. I got your message, by the way, from Half Yard Club the other day. And yes, I do, I, I do agree with you. Thank you for that. Nice of you to be understanding. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, Connie says, love the little bag, looks so easy to make. Um, in any size as well. Now, if you've got something that you want to measure, I don't know, a phone, just cut your fabric a little bit bigger um, than what you're going to put in there. So I, I think probably a, a small tablet or Kindle size for that size, but wider, longer, um, make them any size that you like. And I do think maybe a couple of little loops on the side and a handle would look rather nice with that as well. But the main thing is I wanted to show you how easy it is to create something really stylish with cork. Right, okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to get off and go, go to work. Um, so thank you for bearing with me with these issues that we've been having for the last few days, but I think we're all okay now. And I shall see you again on, um, on Wednesday at four o'clock. Don't know what we're doing yet. What date will it be then? 20. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. Look at that. These tassels were just lying around. See? Got, you've got to add a tassel to it. Um, that one, that one. Oh, that one. No, that one. The chestnut. Yes. <laughs> Um, okay, so yes, what was I saying? Can't remember. I'll show you the next half yard club project on Wednesday as well. Oh, next Saturday. That's what I was going to say. Next Saturday is the is the sew along. We're going to make um, a scissor uh, keeper with a fastener over the top. I haven't designed it yet, but I will have that by Wednesday to show you what we're doing. It's not too late to join the half yard club if you want to come and join us on Saturday. So have a look at half yard half yard sewing club dot com and and come and join us and come and join us for a so long on saturday at four o'clock um meanwhile i shall i shall get on with some work you enjoy the rest of your weekend and i shall see you again on wednesday bye bye